Welcome to WebStar Plus. Toggle Glass in React.js is straightforward. You can use a state variable with a Boolean value to toggle a class in React.js. For example, import use state from React. Here is a button. Declare state with initial value false. This value can be accessed using is active. For the button, here is on click handler. And here we will handle this on click event. So on click toggle class and it will just alter this value. If it's false, it will be changed to true. If it's true, it will be changed to false. Set is active, not is active. Right now it's false. If we click at it, it becomes true. To reflect this change or button, we can apply this check class name if is active is true then apply active class otherwise remove active class save and now it is displaying that active class has been applied to button class active is there if we click it again active class is gone click it and active class is there So this is straightforward, right? But what if there are multiple buttons and you want to apply active class to the only button that was clicked? In this video, we are going to do it. So to do that, this is our HTML, just three buttons. And one button is inside a div. So the structure is not even. We want to apply active class to the button that was clicked. And previously active button should drop active class. To do that, declare a state that will store index of the button that was clicked. We will be able to access the stored value by using active button state. Its initial value is null. So let's use on click event handler and pass index number as argument. For this button, index number is zero. For this button, index will be one. For this button, index will be, let's say two. Here, declare handle click function that will take index value as parameter and save it or store it in active button state. Save. Right now state is showing null. If we click at this button, it becomes zero. If we click at about, it becomes one. If we click at contact, it becomes two. Now we can apply a check on each button according to the index of the button. Like for the buttons, we'll have to apply the class, right? So class name, if active button value in state is zero equal to zero then apply active class otherwise don't this is ternary operator similarly for second button change zero to one for third button change it to two so stored value in state was two so contact button is active. If we click at home, it will be active. State value will be zero and others will be inactive. About contact home. Now clicking at button will switch toggle class named as active. See active class is here. If we click at home, active class is now here. And from here, it was removed. Now it's applied on contact button. Styles for the active class are defined in CSS. In this case, active class applies black background color and white color for text. So this is fine, but let's say this is a menu, header menu. 
what if we have another similar menu footer menu like this how will we reflect this behavior here to do that we have to apply same class checks and on click event handlers as we did for above menu for the first button class name active button ternary operator to check if the active button has got zero value then apply active class and for on click event handler pass zero value as index for second button use one here and here as well for third button use two and two here as well save now both menus are working as expected so let me summarize it when a button is clicked the handle click function is called with the index of the clicked button the active button state is updated to that index triggering a re-render and applying the active class to the clicked button since the active button state holds the index of the currently active button the previously active button will automatically lose its active class when a new button is clicked basically this one function that takes index as value is doing all the thing and then this state value here that is being checked here so this is how you can toggle class for multiple elements in react.js okay do you think that this is the proper way to do it or do you have a better idea let me know in comments if you have similar or related question ask in comments okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video